Welcome back. WSBA Morning News with Gary Sutton, 748 on a Wednesday morning. Todd Willman, our good friend and uh, marketing and membership manager of the Manufacturing Association of South Central Pennsylvania. If you missed it, uh, great chance to hear Robert Ballard on April 25th, 2019. That's just year, by the way. I always like to say that just in case someone's, ooh, what year? It, it's this year. And it's going to be at the Polo Center at York uh, Campus of the Pennsylvania State University, Thursday, April 25th. And what a great evening. Robert Ballard, in case you didn't know, the guy who found the wreck of the Titanic. And uh, he's going to be there to talk about what else robotics that night. Everybody's talking about robotics every day. We see it on commercials, Todd. Uh, people are making jokes about it all the time. And it's not a joking matter when it comes to manufacturing, right? No, not at all. Robotics is playing a, robotics is playing a more critical role, if you will, yeah. in, the manufacturing mar- in the manufacturing space. We have a lot of manufacturers in this region that have incorporated various types of robotic systems. And now a lot of the question in many cases is how are the robotic systems interfacing with the human operators? So that's actually uh, some training and some educational sessions we'll be doing later this year for our membership. Is there a happy balance between the two that you can see? Or you know, I'm sure your membership has been talking about that a lot, too. I, th- I think there really is. Uh, for example, there's some uh, processes and procedures that go on on the factory floor, a lot of packing, a lot of... Uh, preparation of parts being boxed or palletized, things like that, kind of the more mundane tasks are actually perfect for some type of a robotic system. You know, when you look at robotics, uh, we say, okay, it's going to save money. It's going to save you know time. We, we have all this thing. But it seems to me that one of the things that would be interesting in manufacturing right now, as well as maybe other things around the world in terms of jobs, is that there's probably a lot of jobs that are going to be out there that we haven't even thought about yet in terms of managing robotics. Am I correct on that? Well, that's correct, because a lot of the new technology tends to drive the need for jobs of the future, if you will. What are the biggest challenges that manufacturing faces right now? Well, I think right now manufacturing, if you talk to just about anyone, is is probably top of the list, the um, opportunity to find good talent as job candidates. There are many jobs that are currently open in this region. As a matter of fact, some figures I have seen, there are actually more job openings than there are people to fill them in some of our counties here. A lot of that goes right to skills training. It's not necessarily that the person would make a bad job candidate, but a lot of these jobs require some basic skills. The ability to do simple math, to read a tape measure, to do some kind of calculations. Obviously, to be able to work positively and in a good manner with coworkers in the workplace. And sometimes that's a challenge now with folks. You know, uh, manufacturing for a long time, people say, well, manufacturing, why would I, you know, the name doesn't sound sexy, but right. but there's a lot of different kinds of manufacturing around and some really exciting opportunities here in the York area. There are some incredible companies in this York region that are doing some phenomenal work. You walk into these facilities and you would never guess that they are a manufacturing operation. They're clean, they're neat, they're well lit, they're using some of the latest technology. A lot of it is driven by some folks that they have in maybe a software or programming department that are making everything happen inside those plants. It's pretty amazing the change even from, say, 20, 30 years ago. And again, where we used to say, okay, I, I met a guy the other week who worked at a place for 60 years, that's probably not the way we go now because you know we're changing all the time, much quicker than we used to, and there are so many different kinds of opportunities even within the same manufacturing facility. Exactly. The pace of change has really escalated here within the last decade or so. One way that we try to keep up with a lot of that change is we, we offer a lot of training courses for mm-hmm. folks in the region. For example, we have about 300 courses in our training curriculum, and we have what we call our favorite 52. Okay. Those are courses that most manufacturers have a need for year in and year out, so we run those on a consistent schedule. As an example, in 2018, we processed nearly 2,000 employees through our training programs. Wow. And so far this year, in 2019, we're coming up on 400 in terms of a number. Now, on top of the standard training, if I can call it that, We also offer apprenticeship training as well, where an employer can take an employee that they would like to see continue as a a long-term asset Mm -hmm. within that firm, and they will place them inside an apprentice program. This year, we have actually hit a high watermark. We have 65 folks enrolled in our apprentice training programs, and those are five- to seven-year programs typically between eight and 11,000 hours of both combined classroom training as well as on-the-job training with their employer. Todd, some really exciting stuff going on right now. Again, we want to remind you, April 25th, that's a Thursday, and you can find out more about it, the annual event at MASCPA.org, or call 717, write this down, 
843-3891. That's 717-843-3891. And evening with Robert Ballard as he, as he charts our future. And he said it's time to join our expedition. That's right. Robert Ballard, who found the wreck of the Titanic, will be right here in New York on that night. Todd, so great having you aboard tonight, and thank you so much. Gary, we appreciate it. Thank you. And I said aboard tonight, aboard this morning, but uh, yeah, you're aboard anytime when you come in here. <laughs> Thanks well. so much, my friend. Thank you. 754 on WSBA.